Hello, welcome to LEB Toys. I am ready for another building challenge today. We have already got, whoa, so many color levels on our crazy rainbow apartment. We've done purple. We've got the blue nursery, like the baby nursery level, and the bright sunshiny apartment with Buttercup and her puppy living there and all that dippy dippy top. Pingy McPing Pink is hanging out. This is the first one we did, it's actually the smallest. Well, what color are we going to be doing today? Have you guessed? Pretty sure you already guessed. Yes, today it is the too much green challenge. Can we build with just green bricks? Blah, 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 bricks. Well, I'm pretty sure we can, even if I can't say bricks. I have a lot of green bricks. And actually, there are so many different shades of green in Lego. Look at all of these. This is only part of them. So many good things. Look, there's crocodiles. How can I use a crocodile in this? Oh, and a skateboard. Trolley, the shopping trolley. The new shopping trolley is green. And oh, this is a hairpiece. So I'll put that over here. We'll try that on our, on our little character. These might be useful, these struts actually, they might be a bit tall. And the Angry Birds, like all the Angry Bird pirates. I'm sure I've got more here somewhere. The baby turtles are green and the mountain bike here is green. So many greens, cactus outfit. Oh, and shutters. Actually, we got windows, but uh, once again, we don't have window frames that are green. So I don't know quite what I'm going to do. Oh, more Angry Birds. And I've got like three of these Angry Bird. I don't know why I call them the Angry Birds. They're the pigs. <laughs> and a dragon wing. Yeah, this one's another, that's like the Joker's hair piece. Okay, so colors, we've got so many. This is like, this is an olive green. This is, I don't know the names of all these greens. They're just like lots of different shades of green. So this one's obviously a dark green, a very dusty dark green. Let's blow some of that dust off. <laughs> you can tell I haven't used that one very much. And there's actually, look at this, there's different shades. So many different shades of green. And there's a really light, uh, where is it? This one. So this really kind of minty, oh, not minty green. I don't know what you call that. I really should look it up. And of course there are neon colored greens and there are translucent greens and the slimes, but there are some greens here. Oh, actually there's a, there's a rubber ducky in green. There's a sand green here somewhere, which I haven't, where's sand green? Oh, here we go. So sand green, so different to the olive green. Don't know how much that we're going to use, but we, there are some greens we aren't going to use. We're not going to use teal because it just, it's actually kind of more blue than all the rest of these greens. So it's going to look, we've got so many shades to play with. We might use teal in a different build. And this really light one, this aqua -y, minty color, I'm not going to use that either. I use that as just a little touch in the blue one. So I, I think I have to call that one a blue color. I don't know, <laughs> I can call it whatever I want. It's a mix of colors. Okay, let's clear the floor, the floor space, our building space, the teddy, little green teddy. I don't know how I'm gonna, I want to, I have so many things here I want to use. But first up, first up, we have got to figure out a character. We've got some hair pieces here. How many green hair pieces do we have? That is the question. We've got plenty of green clothing choices. So Mia, these were the, the pants that Mia used to come with in the original incarnation of the Lego Friends girls. Lena Luthor's all in green and she's got green eyes, but I don't think the crazed arch nemesis look is what we're going for here. So let's not use that face. Poison Ivy without her bright red hair. Everything else about her is green. She's got green eyes. I love, oh, we can use, okay. I, oh my, I'm overwhelmed with choices. I love, love her pants, especially cause we're gonna make this like kind of a nature idea. So this is a sand green top with, ooh, olive green pants. Like the ones Mia has in from her house set, Mia's house set, that doesn't go. So sand green pants here go better with this top. And this is kind of like a, a nature walking in the bush top. This is Emma's original face with the green eyes. So that's perfect. But I want a more vibrant green, I think. Not not that one, because it's not it's not gonna be cold. We're not gonna go with cold weather gear for this. And Olivia's oh, look at that. Olivia's little top there was green as well. <laughs> there are so many choices. Oh look, and there's like this sarong skirt and my favorite, well, one of my favorite tops of all times, the kiwi fruit top. Actually, this is a really cute look. It's very casual and very nature oriented. If I uh, if I put these two together, I think they'd look really good. I think they'd go with the theme that I'm gonna kind of create here. So we've got, oh, that's really cute. It's kind of very planty. All right, let's find something to put on her head. Maybe not, <laughs> I don't even know what this is. It's not hair, it's green. <laughs> but we're not doing that. How about the Joker hair? That's actually really quite cute. <laughs> but no, let's not do that either. This one's really vibrant. That would 
kind of do. It's not my favourite look yet, but let's see what else we have. This is the new, that the gamer dude guy from the latest Lego minifigures series pack, and it's it's kind of just a bit too masculine for the look we're looking for here. We could have a little bug antennae, <laughs> little helmety heavies. That's really adorable. But no, uh, this one from the elves, oh, from the elves sets. That's that's really really pretty. But the elves ears kind of don't go. I've only got one of these, so I don't actually want to cut the ears off this. So, what about a turban? <laughs> actually with this on it looks just like she's got the towel wrapped around her head but this would go very nicely with the cobra so she could be like a snake charmer I want to use that cobra because he's cool all right these ones are a bit more sensible so this one's from one of the other from the Lego movie 2 minifigure series and it's very very cute she's grubby on the back there it's very cute but this piece this hair piece though it's wild and big I think it is Adorable! I love it. Wild and big. I think it suits her personality so much. Is she gonna hang out with a crocodile? Is she gonna be like a crocodile tamer? She could be like a reptile. She could be in love with reptiles and nature. How are we gonna make this work? Let's see. <laughs> let's move the crocodile out for now. He's really big. And let's see what base plates. There are plenty of base plate choices, but I need to make these ones actually fit on our apartment levels. So this might do, I think. We'll check it as we go along. So first up, let's put some green walls in, and there are no green pillars, or none that I have, so we're going to have to do lots of building, which is kind of the point. Got these neon pieces that I didn't actually use in the yellow build because I said they were too green, but now I think they might be a bit too yellow. But no, they, they go with the green nicely. We're going to call them green for the purposes of this actual challenge. <laughs> okay, lots and lots of single green pieces, which is good. And these ones with the outward-facing studs, are going to be useful because I want to use these palm leaves. I have a plan. I have a plan. I actually want to make because I haven't made a bathroom in any of these single color challenges yet and I want to make a little nature bathroom <laughs> if I can. But I don't have any window or door pieces so I'm going to try and make it open but still preserve her modesty so you can't see in exactly. <laughs> We're going to try and do that with plants. But I still want all these translucent pieces so it adds light and it makes it not look too blocky and too closed in. Because it's only this teeny tiny space that we're going to be allocating here for the actual bathroom. So let's see, if we've got some more translucent pieces we can put on the top there. And this little space here... Uh, I don't know quite what we're going to do. What if we fill that little space there with a plant? Or we just try and... Well, she's going to live here by herself so it doesn't really matter doesn't really matter if there are a few holes in the walls, does it? I mean, I have to do this just in green, so we're going to have to have some leeway, but I definitely have the pieces I need for a toilet, which is good. We've got this little ring, and we can make a toilet on this upward angled piece. We can put that over here, and oh, you know what I do have? I've got a frog, and I want to put a frog in the bathroom, <laughs> not actually in the toilet. We're going to put the froggy next to the toilet. <laughs> You're never going to want to go to the toilet again. But you got a frog friend in the bathroom to keep you company. <laughs> Look, what could be more natural than that? <laughs> uh, I think we got enough room here for a shower too, but I don't have any of those little grill pieces. So this is going to be the shower floor, and we're going to use this as the actual shower head. But at the moment, I don't have it quite at the right level, like the height that I want to hang that. So we'll come back to that in a minute. Let's put some of these leaves on, which we can actually swing to the side when our girl wants to go to the bathroom. Oh, we forgot to name her. Actually, you guys named her when I asked yesterday what her name should be. And overwhelmingly, you guys said Ivy. So Ivy suits her perfectly, I think. On this hook here, we're going to add a big vine piece I'm wondering how I can, it's going to look cool if we can kind of, is that too tall? No, it's not too tall. I can make this work. It'll kind of be off the side. We'll still be able to fit the next apartment building on the top. I have to think about the apartment building on the top now as well, instead of just free building. <laughs> I have to think. It's really hard, but that that should this should work and we can always just move things around so Ivy can come in here She can use the bathroom She can use the shower when we finally put the shower head on and she's got some palm leaves there for some privacy bit of privacy. Okay, 
I built a bathroom. Does that make you all happy? <laughs> Over here, I want to build something a bit special, something I've never tried to build before. I want to do a vertical garden. Fill it with succulents or, uh, I don't know, whatever we're going to call them, plants. <laughs> succulents are easy to look after though and they look spectacular. So a vertical garden bed and we're going to have to try and add as much texture as possible. And I thought that these pieces from the Unikitty and the Puppy Corn series actually have lots of textures on them that can look like like plants, like plants actually growing in the wall. Now, I know you're saying this pocket here, this pink pocket is going to look really weird but I can cover it with another plant, I think. And the little starry ones on the side will look like plants, like little colorful plants in my head anyway. <laughs> so that's where I'm going with this. I think that's gonna look really cute. Let's find out. So if I put this here, I can try and maybe cover this one with one of those little spiky vine things. See, look at that. So nobody would know now that that was a pocket behind that. And now we can layer this Unless, of course, you saw it beforehand, which you all did. But no, you now have to just suspend your disbelief and you have to not remember that it was there. On this little outward facing stud, I want to make a really, really fancy looking plant. We can layer it like this and then we can kind of angle the leaves so that so that it fits the space. No, that's a bit too cluttered. That's cluttered. That's a bit cluttered. Let's just put on one more little layer there. And I think that will be enough to just space it out just that bit more. Awesome! This is turning out better than I even expected in my head. I love the little texture pieces from, from the Unikitty series things. Okay, those little archways. Okay, if we're going to put this one on the top, we're going to put a little plant in between that arch. And up here, maybe we could have a bucket. So we can have like a little hanging pot plant. And we can put a plant in it. Now, if I put just a plain little plant in. It's going to wibbly wobbly around. So if I shove one of these cylinders in, well, shove it into the cylinder, and if we make it on the same kind of cone plane as the bucket, look, there we go. It doesn't wobble around quite as much. I love my new vertical garden. I love, I'm actually really enjoying these single color builds because it's making me build in ways that I would never have done before. And it's challenging me to try and build things with only with the pieces that I have. So if I want to make something, I've got to make it out of only the pieces I have. Okay, next to this, let's make a little, maybe a little drinks cabinet because I've got all these green wine bottles. But I also want to use these sand green lattice works as a beautiful backdrop. So wine bottles here, or drink bottles. And if I want to put the goblet, oh, we'll put lids on them first. But if I put the little goblet next to them it needs to be on a little jumper stud so it's centered in this space which means i'm going to take these wine bottles off and i'm just going to put there we go everything's now on the same level which makes me happy that's very classy looking <laughs> look at that i'm thrilled okay next shelf up here uh, we might we're going to put some nature things so like a little ammonite up here and her pet chameleon one of my new favorite little animals Luckily, he's green. He's going to be hanging out up here. So she loves reptiles and amphibians. She's going to have a little collection of creepy crawlies up here, I think. I think that's a great idea. So <laughs> it's a great idea if you like creepy crawlies. We're going to actually set this back a bit because otherwise it's going to look too much like, a, like everything's in a line. And I want to add a bit of dimension to this back wall. So it's going to be recessed. This little bar, this little garden bar here is going to be recessed just by one stud. It's amazing how much of a difference it makes. Looks really good. We're going to line this side with our green wall and that's looking good. All right. Gosh, I don't actually know what finish I'm going to put in here yet. I'm still going on the back wall. These crates make a really nice texture and this is going to make a nice platform because this is where Ivy's going to display her pet snail. Isn't this the cutest sticker? It comes in one of those extra packs, the sticker extra packs. It's so adorable. There's the little eyes on that snail. Okay, concentrating on what's actually going on here. Let's put another plant up. Oh, broken it all. It's actually very, very precarious at the moment with just all these stuff on the crates because it doesn't hold it up very well but it'll be fine when we line along the top with some more bricks it'll hold everything in place here i want to put okay i'm going to make a really big flat sofa chair 
And this, with a snakeskin pinky texture, is going to be a lovely cushion! So I'm just adding a little bit of pop of colour into our green, because <laughs> there's just so much green. It's nice to have a bit of pink to break it up. And the green's still showing through. So this chair design actually comes directly from... Which set? Uh, it's from... It's from the uh, from one of the cruise ships, the, the the second cruise ship. It's so so cute. It's so cute, and it's going to hold those two plates here together very nicely. And it just squishes down on the floor. Look at that! It looks so cozy. It looks really comfy. It's like a big big lounge chair, a bit, but a single one that only one person can sit on. We're going to make another one exactly the same, matching for the other side. Except I just thought of something. Oh, let's finish building it first before I think too hard. <laughs> you know you start thinking, you get yourself into trouble. <laughs> so you get yourself in trouble when you don't think either. This isn't actually going to be in line with the other chair, but I think that's fine. I, th I think because there's no symmetry in this build, really, it, it doesn't matter that it's slightly offset, that the other chair is slightly offset. Oh, we've got some fruit. We've got apples, but I don't want to use apples. I want to use the watermelon slices. Because they just, once again, the red adds a little pop of colour to all of that green. But they're on green tiles, so I can still use it! <laughs> Alright, so Ivy has got like a garden lounge. Like a garden lounge bar! <laughs> Drinks bar -y kind of place. And she's got bathroom. Very important. <laughs> Which she can only access from the outside. <laughs> okay, let's line the top of these walls so we can hold them securely together because I'm done with these back walls, I think. And I think this is going to be a good height. Ah, so this is going to go uh, on top of the yellow level because it's so big and with the pink one on the top. So I have to make sure I have enough support underneath for this to be able to hold on. So I need some more supports on this side. Okay, so how are we going to do this? I've got a whole heap of these translucent pieces from Minecraft sets because <laughs> they make they put these on the trees in the Minecraft sets. So this is going to be very useful if rather blocky. They're going to take up quite a bit of space. We don't have a lot of space in these apartment buildings, but if I put them... Yeah, no. Okay, so once again, I'm going to offset them a little bit. Just hang them off the side. But they'll still be nice and sturdy. So let's check that the pink apartment level is going to fit on. Oh, hold on. I might need to move them over one more. It's really important that I do this before I get to the end now because this structure is kind of integral to the whole build. I've got a big space here. I'm going to half fill it, I think, with some more of these single, these single blocks. <laughs> I wish I had some green pillars. It would be so much more, well, It'd be kind of helpful. <laughs> I'm almost out of single green blocks. I want to put, I want to make a plant out of these little talon pieces, like claw pieces. So if I kind of clip them all on this stick, thankfully we've got some green sticks, <laughs> otherwise I'd be a bit stuck. The sticks, I'd be stuck without the sticks. If I angle them, it could be like a fern kind of thing. It's really bulky though. Is that going to look too weird? It's like a centerpiece, a really a focal, a fancy focal piece. And that can fill that space quite... Oh, actually, I, I like that. I just need to... I need to actually put an extra piece down here to attach it. Is that going to get in the way of our little snail stand, though? It's all falling apart still. Let's see. If I, little, if I just angle these around... No, no, that's good! That's cool! It kind of directs you into what's going to be our outside area. Let's put a little flowery plant thing down here just because we can. And now, now we can line along the top with lots of smooth pieces, but just a couple of little studded pieces so that we can connect the pink apartment securely. But not too many, otherwise it's really hard to get it off again. Oh, now, now we can put our little shower head. It's going to attach to a smooth piece there. And now Ivy can pop in here, try out the shower. <laughs> That's so adorable. And we'll keep lining our... Ah, oh, You know, I think that does just sit a bit too tall. Let's see if I put it just one brick down. Our little clip down there. And that just makes it... Oh, I feel as though that's not exactly what I want it to do. But it'll do. It'll do for now. I might fiddle with it later. All right, so we're lined along the top. And now the pink layer... 
is going to fit very nicely, but we're not ready to put that on yet because we've got all of this section out here. And I thought this would be a little balcony area for Ivy to keep her most dangerous pet, her cobra. <laughs> I really wanted to work this guy into the build because it couldn't fit the crocodile, so <laughs> we have to have a snake. Let's put him, he's going to hang out on this pedestal. I have a massive problem here because I really, really think that he should be behind glass, but I have no green glass that he would be able to be seen behind. So we're going to have to suspend our disbelief here. And we're going to pretend that this little viney piece creates a big glass enclosure. But we need something to actually hold our little viney piece in place. So we're going to line up here with plants, which is, that's fine. This would be, actually, I don't think this sort of stuff would be in a cobra's enclosure because the cobra would, would want sticks and dirt and stuff, right? Probably not plants. Uh, but anyway, this looks good and I've got green and I don't have lots of, yeah, I don't have lots of green sticks. So this is what's going to have to happen. So this is his enclosure the cobra enclosure out on the balcony. So now let's just make some little balcony railingy things so that nobody actually comes out here and falls off while they're out here patting the cobra because <laughs> you totally pat cobras. Uh, where can I put this plant? Maybe I just want to fill out the lush greenery out here. That looks good there. Let's put another railing along the front and then, then I think we have run out of room. I've got lots of green left, but I've run out of room <laughs> and I don't want to clutter it anymore. I think it looks, I, I'm always surprised that I can make a functional build out of just one color. This has to, I think this might be my favorite one yet. It's really easy on the eyes. It's really soothing. It's not too bright, but it's all green. How is it possible? How is it possible that all green is not too bright? Right. So let's put this together. So the pink layer goes perfectly on the top. Check it out. It's like we planned that all along, which we did. We made sure that it was going to fit. And here's the moment of truth. Are we going to be able to add another layer and not topple all of these apartment buildings down? How high are we going to be able to make this go? I'm just going to make sure everything's clipped together. Do I have enough internal structure to make sure this all stays supported? Well, at the moment I do. I don't know how many more floors I'm going to be able to add to this. Oh, you know what? You know the beehive from like the Mears forest build? If I put that here, <laughs> the yellow goes down into the yellow build. So the green and the yellow are combined. <laughs> I love that. I'm so glad I thought of that. Oh, I missed something out. I've got this cool carpet piece with a palm tree print on it on a green tile. There, look, Ivy's green garden apartment is all completed and I couldn't be more thrilled. I think it looks gorgeous. I cannot believe that came together so well. All right, <laughs> now, do we have another too much color challenge in us? Do you think that there's another color that we could add to this apartment building? Do you think it's all gonna come toppling down and I'm just gonna cry for, for years, months, days? It's up to you. You need to tell me in the comments whether you want me to do another too much color build and what color you think should be next. So it is up to you. Make sure you subscribe and click that little notification bell so you see that video when it comes up and I will be reading your comments and <laughs> planning the next challenge build. So until then, well, until the next video, I'll see you then. Bye.